Good afternoon. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It's been a couple of chaotic weeks and I am thrilled to be back out in the yard, but also it's 50 degrees out here. In the, in the middle of December, it's 50 degrees out here. It's blowing my mind. Um, which leads me to a whole bunch of thinking about frost hardy plants. And I must show you the bok choy. So this bok choy, thought for sure I had planted it too late. Uh, it has seen nights in the killing frost zone. It's been out here under snow, uncovered. I put straw down far later than I was going to. There, there was nothing in the favor of this bok choy, and yet here it is still going. Either Friday or Saturday, they're showing snow in the forecast. So, so much for our lovely little extra spring, um, but I am grateful for it while we've got it right now. So anyway, Bill and I were talking the other night and I've always wanted a cold frame. And we keep talking about it every year. I'm like, hey, we should put up a cold frame and he's like okay and then we both completely forget about it so we've got some windows in the garage and some extra corrugated plastic sheeting from the chicken run project so when we were talking about it last night we think we might have just about everything to put something together and i mentioned the bok choy so bill said well let's see if we can get it in there before it snows on saturday so <laughs> The rooster's rooting for us. <laughs> Bill should be home in a little while and we can figure out what we're gonna do about this nonsense. So this is a window that we got off the side of the road. Um, there's a spot near us where people drop stuff off, usually a lot of things from the apple orchard, um, and it's just a big free pile. So we have a number of pallets here as well. But this guy, oh, just love this thing. How big is this, Bill? 60 by 50. 60 by 50. So this window is far from pristine. You can see there's some damage up at the top. Looks like something chewed at it there. Um, so it's perfect for the garden. All right, so you've got a plan? Kinda, maybe. All right. We'll figure it out. We're, we're making this up as we go along. Just trying to make sure that the frame is going to fit because this window is smaller than this window by about two inches okay but if i attach the two by fours to this it'll be enough that that window can rest on it with a frame and still be sturdy so we are good so the window would attach to the top of where you were holding the yeah okay yeah because that's going to be the the perpendicular to the ground window right and it's going to support the other one as the hypotenuse so the little window <laughs> will be perpendicular where the whole thing is going to be a right angle yes okay so the little end will be perpendicular and then the long window will be the hypotenuse what you said. <laughs> okay, but but I I'm on target here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And we'll attach. I'll do a, a triangle on each end. I'll okay. Screw into this. Yeah, it's just gonna be a it's just a hair too short to go straight. I'll still hinge into here. Uh huh. But I want to frame in. Okay. Just to give it a little more support. Okay. 
So got these windows cleaned up. It's nothing like pristine. I just, you know, I, I like a window to be something one can see through. screw these to the window that'll be the back edge and then we can build the boards off of that so I measured this out so that the hinge would be on the inside so we could open the window really wide and then cut the boards for the angle but I didn't accommodate for the depth of the board so if we attach the hinge now we won't be able to open the window Oops. So what we're going to do to compensate is make a wedge along here. No, we're not. So what we're going to do is attach the board like I had intended. We're going to cut a little notch out so the edge of the hinge will sit in there nice and flush. And then we can attach it to the two windows and it'll still be able to, uh, to open and close. Crisis averted, I think. We'll see. the top. You don't have to hold the pieces in place anymore. Okay. <clears throat> yeah? Okay. Okay. That's one side. So that side's in. The trick. Let's see if this actually works. Finishing the frame, and I can get one long deck screw in from this side, but it's not long enough to go through the window, so I'm toenailing in from the other side to secure it. And will you look at this beautiful thing? Oh, 
Baby's first cold frame. Yay. So it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Yep. It's supposed to get really, really bitter cold and snow tomorrow. Snow, sleet, freezing rain, cold temperatures. I feel really good about it. Perfect timing. We got the cold frame in. We got the cold frame in. We will, we are here for that bok choy. We will save its little lives. So the coolest part about this build is that we didn't spend a dime on this thing. Let's see. So the windows were side of the road. From the orchard. Yep. Um, yeah, the orchard up the street, they have a big free pile. It's freaking awesome. Um, the lumber was all scraps. The lumber was left over from working on the run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And scrap from pallets. Okay, and then... And the plastic was left over from winterizing the coop. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I love nope, when upcycling nope. works I out. spent six dollars. Screws? I bought hinges. Oh, the hinges. Okay. So, $6. we had to buy two hinges. Thank you so much for hanging out with us while we got our build on over the last couple of days. Here comes winter for real. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> But thank you again, and we will catch you up soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Reckless Homesteading. Homesteading. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sit here and dance around. Glass. <laughs> uh.